Okay, so I popped the camera on here in front of me as I got ready for today because um, I want to share things about me as I do this, okay? And not just like, I don't know, whatever. First of all, let me just put this out there. I call me self-critical, but then I was thinking about how my few boring videos start with me like getting ready. And I don't really know if that's even fun to watch. But then, up until then, till I, till I you know, am like um, bullied into believing that the way my video start is not nice. <laughs> I think this is how I'm gonna go with, or uh, up until, or up until I can come up with a more fun idea or whatever, okay? So, I almost dropped that. So, my eyebrows is now looking a little bit different. Um, let's start with my age. I am 24 years old. Wait. No, I'm 23. I'm 23 years old, but I am about to turn 24. I'll turn 24 in July. So, that's why um, we're going to call me 24 years old. I watch TikTok like it's so bad that I feel like it could be an obsession or like an addiction of its own kind Ooh. i used to only watch but then one day i got a little cocky and like made a little video and it did kind of well so now some 20 videos later i am now quite comfortable on that app to the point that you know how like koreans eat i know but you're not a korean Tenzin i get that okay i was eating ramen and out of the pot because you don't have somebody here who's gonna do dishes for you so i just ate ramen straight out of the pot because be honest i'm sure many of you have done that too but then so many people on tiktok commented saying um i shouldn't do that and that it's disrespectful to god basically things of that sort so i was like okay it is what it is we all have our own beliefs i'm not saying anybody's wrong i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying they're right i'm not saying anything of that sort okay i'm just saying that that's what i experienced I got too comfortable on TikTok and ate out of a pot and that happened. So that was my first TikTok scandal, if you may well. I'm kidding. I did not enjoy it. I moved to the UK in September last year. I put tape under my eye. I'm sure it looks very uncomfortable to some people. But then I'm trying to get like a sleek um, wing. I don't think I talked about why I'm getting ready, right? So around January, I came back from work one time and then Lungtin was like, I have a surprise for you. And then I was like, yeah, tell me what's the surprise because I love surprises. I love giving surprises. I love receiving them. Uh, probably because my mom is like the queen of surprises. I cannot even begin to tell you and like go on enough telling you about how obsessed she is with giving surprises. It runs in the family. I think now that I think about it, everybody has at one point of life given the other person a surprise in the family so so he tells me that he got us tickets to this candlelight concert where the whole setup is in uh is usually in very architecturally pleasing you know not too modern and then it's it's decorated with candle lights everywhere and there is like a band you know an orchestra playing music and their shows are basically as per themes like anime themes mostly of ghibli studios they play the theme song to uh i'm so sorry but i don't really watch much anime totoro my neighbor neighborhood friend yeah i'm sorry if i got that wrong but then like the theme song from that and spirited away and all these very iconic classic uh animes that i have definitely heard about but i'm sorry haven't gotten around to watching so the one we are attending is Coldplay. Anyways, anyways, long story short, that is what I'm getting ready for. Okay, so now let's do a reveal of this tape. Let's hope that she's good. Or should we do the blush first? So it'll be like a whole look and I'll reveal that, right? Where's my... I used to hate the idea of a blush also okay? because my face, I, I just naturally blush a lot because if I'm angry, red. If I'm hysterically laughing red if i'm shy definitely you guessed it red so i used to always feel that blush was such an unnecessary part of a makeup up until i have become obsessed with using it myself now i feel like my face is incomplete without, without wearing it so here we go i don't know why i do these very awkward things when i am filming and then and when i'm editing i'm like how do i edit this part out without breaking 
the chain of thoughts of what i was talking about i think our plan is not gonna work because the tape is coming in the way and my blush will look all like let's just lift this off is it la la <laughs> it's <laughs> it's looking at a, a little artificial nice how i'm gonna fix it fix it is by smudging it out somewhere around here oh wait it's actually like a dent in my skin it's from the tape being too tight it, it's gonna vanish on its own <laughs> okay so i am pretty much done anyways okay so now we're gonna get ready we're gonna figure out if you want to look nice or if you want to come back alive because it's cold here it's really cold okay so it's 6 30 ish right now and the show is at um 8 30 but then obviously we need to get there like one hour early and then transport is going to be like 20 30 minutes i don't know but then i don't know if they're gonna have food there i don't want to get hungry around dinner time because it's still 9 30 the show so i don't want to get hungry there and get grumpy and then you know the experience is like jeopardized so that's why i'm having a pre-show snack i had a bagel and egg sandwich this morning very hard to finish the whole thing i had rice for lunch so that's why i'm going to finish the rest of this bagel sandwich so that i will have positive food so i won't be you know, like hungry and angry so yeah Okay, now we're going to try and tame this head of hair. I want to try it this way through the middle, but it's not me, is it? Nope, 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 nope. The very clothes that feel very stuffy for the inside is too cold for the outside. I just had some leftover from my brunch earlier today, which was like a bagel sandwich. It's all good. It was heart disease in a sandwich because it was jam-packed with like five or six layers of bacon. And then there was like a fried egg and all the good stuff. But none of the actual good stuff, which is like a lettuce or a tomato. Now my, my tooth is acting up. So there's that. And now we're going to go to the show before we get late. Perfect, that's two. Bear with me for one minute, I'm just going to wait for one of my colleagues. We'll yeah. come, we'll get you seated, alright? Are we excited? Are we looking forward to it? Really so we're back from the show came back with mixed feelings to be very 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 honest it was very nice from the performers point of view they did the best like I, I was I was just sitting there getting chills and stuff and that's when you know something is actually like you know emotionally triggering you when you are covered in chills and you feel like goosebumps and stuff but then the TNC being the sad part was that we were uh, we were sat next to two ladies who who had like wine glasses in their hands. I was team lemonade, but then uh, the two ladies right next to us were like team wine and I think they had a bit too much to drink. So they were not so respectful of the performers and because we were sat like right next to them and then there was a group of girls be right behind us who I don't know if if it was so hard to be quiet for like just an hour i don't know if it was so hard for them to have like a little bit of a sense of discipline or manners for like that one hour because when the show was going on since it's only instruments there's obviously no singing uh being done 
uh, from the performers but then these girls in the back were like just singing along and okay you love the music you love the song so you want to sing along but then maybe keep it to your mind because you know there are other people who are there to enjoy the performers and not their not their very um insensitive humming and it was like i don't know it was like very loud whispers you know how some people when they're whispering then they're like evidently not quiet and it's like you know i so they were, they were singing like that the whole time. My emotions were just flaring up in the negative ways. So I tried to keep my calm, but then yep, all in all, it was it was quite nice. And because it's only going to be like once in a lifetime kind of experience, we tried to savor it for what it was and not try to let the people next to us define how the experience would be for us. But it was quite challenging. Anyways, I sound like I have a lot to complain about because I think I've already done a lot of that in this video. <laughs> And I'm sorry, but then, um, yeah, it is what it is. So we got back and I was famished. I was starving. So that's why I quickly had to eat before I did this video because I'm not a nice person when I'm hungry. Anyway, so now I'm just going to go and undo all of this art and craft project that I've done on my face and then do my skincare and go to sleep because we have work tomorrow. I love to be as organized as I can as opposed to like opening the app and like scrolling shush, shush, shush. I like to have it in like direct view so I wrote down on my schedule like this <laughs> okay thank you for watching bye